How do birds stay warm in the snow? With this recent polar vortex bringing a foot of snow to northern Kentucky, people have been asking me, how do birds' feet stay warm when they stand in the snow? How do they not freeze to death? Well, there's four different mechanisms at play that keep birds warm. The first mechanism is their internal body temperature. Chickadees have an internal body temperature of 107, 109 degrees. Their heart rate is what sustains this. The smaller the bird, the higher the heart rate. Chickadees have a heart rate of 600 to 800 beats per minute while at rest, and it can get higher during activity. Larger birds like blue jays, robins, cardinals, they only have a heart rate of around 350 to 400 beats per minute while at rest. Even larger birds like Canada geese, swans, their heart rate is only about 150 to 200 beats per minute. Well anyways, the higher the heart rate, the more heat you can create inside your body. But then you have to retain that heat, and there's two different ways that they retain their heat. They have an outer layer of contour feathers. That would be kind of like my coat, except for their contour feathers are water resistant. They can keep water from actually reaching inside. Then they have a second layer of feathers underneath their contour feathers. These are known as the down feathers. You've probably heard about these. People have been using down feathers for blankets and pillows, but they're extremely effective at retaining heat, especially for how thin and light weight they are. With two different layers of feathers, their internal body temperature can be retained. But then there's their feet. I'm standing in snow right now. If I had bare feet and I was standing in snow, my heart would have to dedicate a lot more blood to my feet to keep them warm. That would be wasteful of energy. And birds, they avoid this. They reduce the amount of blood flow to their feet when they are standing in the snow. Additionally, their feet have hardly any nerve tissue compared to ours. They're also covered in scales like their dinosaur ancestors. And as a result, their feet just simply do not get cold. Um, I mean, they get a little cold, but they're not anything like our feet. Hello, Carolina Wren. You can hear a Carolina Wren duet right now. There's the male singing his song and the female going um, Anyways, to add to their feet, they have what's called a countercurrent heat exchange system, which is where their veins and arteries are really close to each other. The hot blood being carried down to their feet travels very closely to the cold blood being carried back to the heart. And this warms up the cold blood so that when it reaches their heart and upper parts of their body, it does not chill them. This keeps the internal body temperature of the blood higher on average. You also have the ability to expand their feathers. They puff up. You've probably seen this. When birds are cold, they puff up. It expands the amount of air that they can trap. Feathers are far more effective at retaining heat than animal fur. Fur retains heat by trapping air inside the fur. But when water gets inside of their fur, there's no more air and they can't retain heat. Birds avoid this by having waterproof feathers like we discussed before. So in review, birds can not only create more heat by having an exponentially higher heart rate than humans, but they can retain that heat with their contour feathers, down feathers, their scaled feet, they can prevent their blood from cooling down with their current with their counter current heat exchange system, and they can increase the amount of air pockets in their feathers by puffing up. It may seem sad to see a bird outside on a cold day, but they were designed for this weather, and they used to be dinosaurs after all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about birds, feel free to ask, and I might make a video about it.